Hey there guys, gals, and non-binary pals. GM Potter here, and today we'll be going over Jay's Gay Agenda by Jason June. So this book, this book, um, it has a 3.6 on Goodreads. Um, I give it a solid three stars. It's good, not great. I'll probably be donating it. Essentially, the our main characters are Jay. Uh, he's openly gay. He was the only gay kid in his entire school district. But when his mom gets a new job, he moves to Seattle and is actually zoned for uh, the gayborhood in Seattle, which he's very excited about. Uh, we have Lou, who's um, his BFF from his old school. Um, she ditched him over the summer because she got a boyfriend, and now they've broken up. And it's like, how does that affect the relationship. We have Albert, who is a VSB, which stands for Very Sexy Boy. Uh, he is a love interest. He's a robotics geek. He's very sweet. We have Max, who is Jay's uh, new best friend, also gay, trying to get Jay to cross off the, Jay, the gay agenda. And then we have Tony, who is a uh, hot body. He's a year older. Um, I think he's a little bit of an asshole, is what I thought when I first was introduced to him. So, essentially we have, um, the story is that Jay is the only gay kid in his entire school and he's miserable. And when he learns where he's moving, he creates what he calls the gay agenda. Um, it's basically a list of things he wants to do, things he wants to experience. He's a list maker and a bit of a writer. So that's, that's what he does. His, the book is filled with, with lists that he writes. So it's, it's things like meet a, a cute boy and hold hands and kiss. And of course, because he's 17 going on 18, loses virginity is on the list and all sorts of things like that. And it's not meant as like a, like a notch in a bedpost situation, but later in the book, that's how it's construed when it's, um, due to his own inability to be honest and open with the people that he purportedly cares about. There's a lot of angst. There's a lot of teen angst in this book, which, I mean, I still have my poetry journals from when I was 17, so yeah, yeah, 17 year olds, 18 year olds are very angsty. Everything is life or death because you've not experienced enough to know that it's going to be fine. So there's that. And then on top of that, it's just not being a gay boy. And that's just not my experience. Like, I don't know if shy is the right word, but I was much more shy in high school when it came to this sort of thing. I didn't date in high school. I had almost no interest in dating. I, I had a little interest, but the people I was interested in were quite clearly not interested in me. So that kind of took care of itself. It just, I found it really hard to relate to because it's so different from my experience. Um, the writing is solid. It's well written. It doesn't feel like a grown up pretending to be a teenager. It feels, the, the dialogue feels authentic. I just couldn't relate to the characters very well. Um, not even Lou, like I, I just couldn't relate to any of the characters. It just, it's not the book for me. So, have you read Jay's Gay Agenda? What did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!